Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look at how you can exploit any website if there's any vulnerability existing in that website or any HTTP service which is with the existing vulnerability. And this is very simple and very basic. You can find all the information on the Google or the internet. You don't need to have any special tool set or any special skill set. So for that, I have set up my own lab setup. I have to say this, this is specially education purpose only. You don't have to do this without permission from any organization or any other website because it, it's illegal. I do have my own setup. I have set up a vulnerable website and I do have my attacker machine. So we are going to attack that website using that common method. Again, this is for education purpose only. Do not use this for any harmful purpose. Let's get started. I want to show this one. This is my Metasploitable 2 as you all know. And maybe I will increase the size. You can see I have set up this one and I have configured my IP address over here. It's 192.168.50.200. If you don't know how to do the Metasploitable 2 installation, I did a video for that one as well. Feel free to have a look. And then I have my Kali machine. This also have the same IP range like this. I'm using 50 range. This is 201 and this is 200 which means 200. First of all, we need to check the connectivity in between these two. I'm going to do a little ping test for this. First I clear the console and ping 192.168.50.200. Okay, I can ping which means I have the connectivity in between Kali Linux and the Metasploitable 2. Now we need to know which ports are open in this specific vulnerable machine and what web services we can try to exploit. So for that, I'm going to use a simple tool called Nmap. If you don't know how to use Nmap, I also did a video for that one as well. Feel free to have a look on that one as well. Nmap minus P. I'm going to scan the port from one to 100 because I don't want to scan all the port P mean, dash P means port number and then I'm going to enter my metasploitable to IP address which means host address or domain you need to do the scan and maybe I will use sudo here and password for Kali and we need to wait a little bit of time until nmap has done the scanning process now it's been done the scanning process and you can see port 1 to port 100 port range it is open port 21 22 likewise i'm interested in this port 80 which, which is it is http i'm thinking there's a vulnerability in here so maybe i can exploit that one in this case i'm going to again scan the port 80 only the port 80 to know about more information of my target i'm going to do specific scan for the port number 80 because i want to know more details about the port number 80 in that case i'm going to do nmap again sudo n nmap minus a capital a minus p which means port number port 80 and your host or the target ip address 192.168.50.200 in this case you will get to know more details all the details about that specific port number what are the services running behind that port number and which web services are available behind that port number we need to wait a little bit for that one as well as you can see we got a whole bunch of information in here i will increase the size a little bit then you can see it's clearly see it's behind the apache server ubuntu base one and we can see the 
it's meta exploitable too, MAC address, and a lot of details. As we know, there's an Apache service running on behind that port. We can try to browse that website. We can simply go to the uh, Firefox or whatever the web browser available in your attacker machine and we can go to that website. There we go. This is the website which is running behind that port 80. So this is how we are basically doing the enumeration process when we are trying to exploit something as a penetration tester or attacker maybe. Then after that I can see few other links available here. I'm interested in this PHP my admin which means there is a PHP running behind that. As you can see, we can see the PHP my admin login page. I'm kind of curious about that one. I'm thinking, okay, I can find some kind of vulnerability in the PHP, then I can try to exploit that. So what I'm trying to do is, this is pretty common one. In any website, if it's not correctly configured, you can see the PHP info using IP address slash PHP info. If you hit enter, boom, lucky, we are good. We got the PHP version number here and we got the other sort of details here. A lot of details available here. In this page also, you can gather some information like um, maybe we can try to find any passwords available. Yep, MySQL default password, no value set yet. If it's if there is a value set, maybe you can see it from here and SQL version, all those details here. Okay, now the PHP version is this one. I'm going to copy that one and I'm kind of trying to find a vulnerability in this specific version. You can do this is in real world as well because it's kind of similar. That's why I told you in the beginning, you can file all the details in the open internet. So this is kind of easy method to do it. And you only thing is you need to spend some more time to find the right vulnerability and try to exploit as a penetration tester. Now I'm going to PHP version 5.2.4. Mm, vulnerabilities you can simply do a Google search uh, maybe you can try to find first link and you can see if there's any exploit available here I don't see any exploit and then you can try another one go back go back uh, maybe rapid 7 one Maybe we can do something. Sometimes it's, uh, the exploit is available. As you can see in here, we can use MSF framework to exploit this vulnerability. So I'm happy with this one and I'm trying to exploit this using this. We'll see how it goes. First of all, I need to get my terminal back like this. All right, hope you can see this. Now, now it's better. Now I'm going to use this exploit against my vulnerable web application. First of all, we need to open sudo msf console. And then it will open up the msf console. Then we can use this specific exploit and try to exploit that website. Okay, there we go. Now we need to go and use this exploit. I'm gonna type that one, the same thing. Use exploit multi HTTP PHP underscore CGI arg in injection. You can simply copy and paste, but I'm happy to um, type it. Okay, now we have set the exploit. Now we, we can do show targets command. Okay, 
now it's all set now we need to set the target IP you can set you set target and the target ID I think it's zero and then we can see show options as you can see we need to set up the remote address over here our host and our port as you remember we we saw that port 80 was open and it used the Apache web server so it's by default selected we don't need to really set up the R port but we need to set up the R host so in that case I'm going to do set R host my vulnerable machine 192.168.50.200 and it's done if you want you can set our port which really don't need in that case and then all set so meta exploitable is still there you can see nothing happened okay i'm going to exploit this one now i'm just trying maybe it will work maybe it's not if it didn't work then we have to find another exploit and we need to try again like we need to try 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 until we succeed so that's how the threat actors all the bad people are doing they take time they have patience, and then they are keep doing their attack process and they will gain access somehow so keep in mind this is for educational purpose only this is for our sake of learning so we are trying to do the same thing in our own environment and I'm going to exploit this uh, we can wait if we can wait and see yep and code was injected but there's no session was created maybe it's not working maybe it will work again we try I'm not sure not okay we'll see how we can troubleshoot this one and then I'm going to use this one again without setting up the session ID we can try to use that method as well copy this one paste it over here yeah we're using that now we can do show options again options yep we have local host here we have L port and our port everything i think local port is port sorry local ip address is 201 not the 202 i think that's the mistake we're gonna try that again i'm gonna set the r host as 192.168.50.200 fine set our port as port 80 and set l host 192.168.50. we'll double check again 201 201 if you want you can set the r port as well um sorry l port as well uh, i would say 444 and then i'm gonna exploit this fingers crossed yes we got the access we got the reverse shell access to the apache web server which is running on the meta exploitable 2 you can do pwd vi in var www folder we can use dir in here as you can see index.php php my admin php info page everything is here if i go back here again we can see this page so to the proof of this attack what I can do is I can simply change this one into something else and then I can refresh this page and it will get what I changed that into so let's do that first of all I'm going to copy that index.php file into 
index1.php right then you can do dir again now you can see two files are there yeah you can use edit command here and then delete everything in here what i'm going to do is select everything and press delete and then you can add something here like h1 and then we can say you have been We can close the H1 and then we can simply escape colon right quite exclamation done or maybe because of its capital colon quit done and then we can go ahead and refresh this page boom so you can see it replicate the edited web page over here this is how you can exploit the website which has the vulnerability open to the open internet you can use the same method to exploit any website which you have permission to do that or which you have authorization to do that otherwise please don't do it if you need to practice this one please create your own lab i have to i did all the videos which you required to do and create this lab setup if you have any question if you got stuck somewhere when you're doing this please leave a comment in the comment section i will definitely send you a reply message and please feel free to check my other videos as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much guys thank you